Up to now, for the last 2,000 years, the world has been celebrating Christ as this little baby in the manger and so on. And um, it's a mystery because the same Jesus is the one that created the world. Uh, he created Lucifer, Satan, and uh, he promised that if man were to sin, he will come and die that second death, that eternal death for man. And so while we all will die one time, if time lasts long enough, his death uh, takes care of the second death. So all who have faith in him will be resurrected and won't see the second death, but uh, Lucifer and all the other people who are evil will die permanently. Um, it's history. Um, but um, can you imagine uh, an old man, a hundred years, uh, his friends and his parents celebrating um, and, and talking about how uh, basically oh, this little baby and this uh, uh, nappy and a napkin and so on and look how he's burping and all that. No, you're going to be talking in terms of, man, I've seen a uh, hundred years and, uh, uh, you know, and so on and the health and how things are going. But I don't want to sound outrageous or anything, but Christ is a terrorist. He's coming back to uh, unleash terror on evil people, on an evil world. He's going to be burning down this place. He's going to be uh, striking people down, dead. He's going to be on a roll. And so, uh, in this uh, 2013 Christmas, well, of course, again, he was born somewhere in the fall, when the Jews celebrate the Feast of Tabernacles, when they go to the backyard and build that little house. It's around that time he was born. So, uh, he wasn't born, no... 25th out you know the uh, snow and all the stuff where even shepherds right now are inside they're not out there it's too cold and um, basically he's coming again that was his first coming the second coming is what we ought to be looking for while uh, it was being prophesied and the wise men followed the star to find uh, him lying in a swaddling um, in a manger there uh, and, and his death being born look can you imagine how fantastic those angels protected Mary? Look how many mishaps women have when they're pregnant. Can you imagine her falling and, and aborting that baby? It couldn't happen. Can you imagine she's suffering from some morning sickness and have some uh, infection, something, and cause the baby to abort? It's not going to happen. And why it's not going to happen? It's because mighty angels were dispatched to hold her up so that she don't slip and fall, uh, taking poison out of foods, um, preventing evil people from contacting her, um, even from wild animals, from rushing and anything that would cause the abortion uh, of that baby. That would be a tragedy. Um, I, I don't know. It, it could happen. But what would have happened had it happened? There was no other son that God had. There was no other creator. That was it. I mean, I don't understand that spiritual thing. Oh, my God could be come back and be born and a woman and, and be God and man. I don't understand it, but I believe it. And, and I think it's good. Yeah. So, um, he, he, and, and you know, when people uh, have the newborn babies, what they do, they hand them up uh, to the God of Halloween. They bring them out and show them out to Halloween, put them in Dracula outfit and so on, and just put them in Satan's hand, who would have destroyed them, eventually hitting the head against a stone, a stone, or a bullet through the heart or something like that. Um, but he was born in the stable there, simply not because God couldn't have provided some better place. I mean, people were staying in hotels weren't as rich as him. Because while he owned all the cattle and a thousand hills and all the diamond and the gold and the precious minerals uh, uh, are, are his and belong to him, when he was born there, he was born to poor folks. And uh, those wise men brought in um, gold, more uh, uh, incense and more. And um, he was rich than some of those people who were staying in those finest hotels. I'm not sure how much gold and, and those things that he brought, but at least was sufficient to take care of his, uh, you know, the necessities of his um, birth and so on. Um, but yeah, that was the first coming. The second coming, uh, he's coming again in the clouds. The angel is going to be escorting him, but he's coming out to uh, unleash vengeance and judgment. Uh, his reason for killing people is going to be political. It's going to be religious. It's going to be straight up. Uh, terrorist acts pouring down the whole place all these buildings collapsing and the whole nine yards and so uh, the best thing to do on this Christmas day is not to overeat and to hurt yourself by drinking all this alcohol and doing these drugs one guy in Georgia told me once he said the holidays coming up as a pusher you have to make sure you have enough drugs 
because when people come to buy and you don't have none, they're going to be upset and they're going to go somewhere and lose the business. I said, you know, I didn't think about that. <laughs> he didn't say, he wasn't saying as if I should do it or he's doing that. But he said, this is how the drug dealers think. I don't know how he knew that. Uh, you know, and so be careful what you do um, while trying to, you know, celebrate Christ's birth. Um, celebration you might end up putting yourself in contact um, by the um, vengeful judgment he returns. And so, uh, um, let us give our hearts to him. Let us live right and, 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 and be very uh, temperate in all we do so that when he comes, uh, he's not going to come thronging and come to unleash those bolts of fire and, 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 and horrible death that he has uh, uh, to unleash in the world. Uh, may we uh, see him as a, a loving judge, a loving friend, a loving savior. And then may you have a, a very merry, 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 merrier Christmas. Uh, Feliz Navidad y prosperi año y felicidad. Gracias.